viewers and subscribers this is bbi channel one you're welcome back again on this platform where we tell you the undiluted truth and the one where they shell it now is the plot tinibu to twat the slated ruling on shetima's double ticket yes and it is coming from the most trusted source an investigative journalist whom i dope my cap for david window in he made it revealed in his tweet and arise news the award-winning arise news reported it i want you to take a look at this very report because we can't take it for granted let us go to arise with reactions trailing the date fixed by the supreme court to deliver judgment in a suit filed by the people's democratic party seeking the disqualification of Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Kashim Shatima as presidential and vice presidential candidates of the All Progressives Congress. Well, on Monday, the Supreme Court fixed May 26 as the date for the judgment to be delivered, just three days before the inauguration of the president-elect and vice president-elect. The PDP had on July 28, 2022, filed a suit claiming that Shatima's nomination to contest the position of vice president and Borno central senatorial seat at the same time contravened the law. The party further sought an order to disqualify the APC, Tinubu and Shatima from contesting the presidential election as well as nullify their candidacies. Well, as many Nigerians look forward to the court date, investigative journalist David Houdain took to Twitter to claim that Tinubu is working very hard to stop the judgment. Let's take his tweet. Well, David Houdain wrote, Information reaching me now from an insider is that Tinubu is trying to lean to Buhari to declare a public holiday on Friday, 26 May, which is the date the Supreme Court is supposed to deliver the judgment that could disqualify him. I mean, Dr. Abati, David Houdain went further to state that, you know, more information that Tinubu had gotten about a uh, hundred million, uh, you know, Naira or something like that to bribe the Supreme Court justices. But we know that David Houdain has been investigating Bola Ahmed Tinubu for a while. He has, you know, brought out documentaries, reports, uh, you know, and all, and all that. I don't know what you make of that story. That is it. Take this thing for granted at your own peril. Now, Grandma is Pico, I know commit any offense. But I can tell Nigerians this very revelation and exposition is valid. Very much valid. Oh, have you forgotten that just recently the same court that is being alleged of being bribed to rule in the favor, perhaps refused the application of PDP and Labour Party to televise the proceeding of the court. Because APC and INEC are hiding their skeleton. Their own skeleton. No? They are hiding the evil they committed during the election. And now the court is now being bribed as alleged. Because this guy is getting this information from the he said inside source told him this David eh, I dope my cap for him from the inside the same guy that him the dual passport that the same guy through him we saw the link of Jagaban and the Guinea you remember the helicopter transportation and the substance uh -huh. now this guy is going out of his way to buy anything buyable and now, perhaps, I will say, let me give the judiciary, for now, benefit of doubt and time. That maybe they are looking at, hey, this ruling, this, there is no hiding place. There is no escape route. But the only way to proceed is to divert that court ruling. And that is what he is revealing. That Tinibu, with valid information, is working very hard with Bugari to declare Friday public holiday. Nigerians, we are not going on holiday on 26th. That is the truth. We are not going on any holiday on 26th. So in case they are planning it, the world should hear it. That is why you need to escalate this video. 
into any platform that you want to. Anywhere you see this video, be sharing it like hot agara. So that then we know, these thieves will know that Nigerians are awake. That we are ahead of them. That we are seeing everything they are, they are doing and their niche is open. In their desperation to swear in an illegitimate government that did not win an election. We've not even gotten to the point of the 25%. <laughs> this man wants to, at least, he wants to answer in his life. He wants to sit down on top of that seat for us rock as a president, even if he is an illegal one. Because he is, his, his whole life is shredded with illegality and controversies. Scandal, left, right, and center. That's the man that wants to be the president of this country. Please help me share this. I don't want to talk too much. Let every Nigerian, let the world know the plot by APC, Tinibu, Bugare, and even the court. I know that whenever the tribunal wants to sit, they can sit, even when they are on holiday or on recess. So, that Friday is sacrosanct. That 26 is sacrosanct. Every Nigerian must gather to stop this madness. Else, <laughs> You see the way these people, APC, are pushing for her? Get ready for the boomerang. I'm just a voice. I know the promoter of NIQ. I am saying that Nigerians should take up their civic duty and defend their own democracy. Or else, they will hang upon their neck an illegitimate government. A government that is illegal. I'm signing out from here. Help me share this video to every platform to anyone. Let every night, let it be on the lips of Nigerians that we are not going on holiday. Come to insist. I rest my case. Help me share this video. I'm signing out from here. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop your comment. I want to have your opinion on this. Bye bye for now.